Coming up on this edition of SHS News, students in the ceramics class experiment with the ancient and very smoky glazing technique known as Raku. And as we know, May is Mental Health Awareness Month. This week, a group of therapy dogs was spotted in the library. Plus, Jack Housen brings us an actual weather report. We'll have those stories and more on this week's edition of SHS News. Good morning, Summit High School. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now, here are your morning announcements. Good morning, Hilltoppers. Today is Friday, May 26th, and welcome back to SHS News. I'm Kamari Massacott. And I'm Alona Siegel. As we know, May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and we've all been doing our part to help stomp out the stigma. This week featured a series of live and relaxing piano performances on the second floor. On Thursday, Creature Comfort hosted therapy dogs in the library. Mental Health Awareness Month wraps up on Tuesday with Students Helping Students Club meeting at lunch in the art room. Tuesday was an exciting day for the Sculpture and Ceramics 2 class. The students were able to glaze their pottery using an ancient Japanese technique called Raku. This workshop was made possible by a grant from the Summit Education Foundation and SHS reporter Harry Tricker brings us the story. Today, Miss S's Sculpture and Ceramics 2 class is glazing their pottery using Raku, an ancient Japanese technique that uses smoke and wood chips to create unique designs. Raku firing is a ceramics technique which creates a special finish by reducing oxygen and adding smoke to a contained environment during the glazing process. A previously fired piece of pottery is heated to 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. And then once it hits 1800 degrees we put it in the cans with uh, some sawdust to create a reduction atmosphere, meaning that we're reducing the amount of oxygen in there and it's going to give a nice carbon look to it. And then. Once it stops smoking actively, then we pull it out, let it cool down, wash it off, and it's instant results. The Raku process differs from traditional glazing techniques in school because it happens very quickly and students are able to take an active role in the outcome. But before the pottery can be glazed, it gets created in the classroom. I made the bowl and we bisfired fired it, so it was actually like hard and mm -hmm. stone. Yeah. And then I put a special glaze. Reku glaze, it was called, I think, copper metallic. And then we put in the kiln, a little kiln, put in the can, and now it turns out like this. I started with a circle bowl, and then I just pinched the edges to make a star shape. And then after it bisque fired, mm -hmm. and then um, I glazed it yesterday, and then today I helped put it in the thing and unload it. Okay. And then it came out this color, the blue. Raku firing is a fun, experimental process that creates a different finish for every piece of pottery. This essentially means that the creator has less control over the outcome. So have you been happy with the results so far? With oh everything? my gosh, they're so amazing. Everything, everything has come out better than I thought they would. They're just awesome. Yeah, Absolutely perfect. awesome. I can't wait to get my own. <laughs> <laughs> with the results we've seen from today's experience, I think the SEF can expect to see a grant request for Raku equipment in the near future. Reporting for SHS News, I'm Harry Tricker. Thanks, Harry. It looks like Tuesday was the perfect day for an outdoor workshop, although maybe a smog warning would have been a good idea. To see if there are any weather warnings in the week ahead, let's get an actual forecast now by our in-house meteorologist, Jack Housen. How's it looking out there, Jack? Hello and welcome back to Weekly Weather Report, where I was given a stern talking to by my boss who said that I have to do my actual job. So, we're going to have a high of 60... What's going on over here? What are you doing? I mean, our boss said that he'll fire us. What are you talking don't... about? This isn't the spirit of weather. I mean, I it is I don't care actual... what your boss says. Uh, you can't no, interview... No, I'm going to show you That's what not weather the... really means. No, 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 no. That's right bad. Now. You can't... There was a writer's strike in Hollywood, the first time in 15 years. If your life was a movie, what would it be called? The Life of Edward. The Life of Edward. I like it. It's cinematic. Thank you. Uh, it'll be something Bruce Willis related because people tell me I look like Bruce Willis with my bald head. You do look a lot. Not because of the bald head. I think there's resemblance there. Just in general, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My movie would be called um, Ava. 
but like spelled wrong. Uh, Fast and the Furious. I live my life a quarter mile at a time. Oh yeah, that's sick. There are so many pizza places in Summit. It's actually insane. What would you say your favorite pizza place is? Oh geez, you know, I, I don't know that I, I, there's one on Morris Avenue right across from where I work. So that would be my favorite, but I don't know the name of it. Antonio's down by Washington. Uh, I'd be repping them all the time. They're the best. Tapia's. Their, their mushroom pizza, this is controversial because I love mushroom pizza, actually slaps. Zapia's, hire me. Trattoria. Wow, I'm so surprised. No, don't be. This is it. Great service, great pizza, great everything. Of course, of course, yes. So much variety. I mean, look at this place. No, it's not just pizza. It's the pastas, it's the sandwiches, it's the salads. Um, like you said, the people. It's like a small area, so like everybody can actually you know, maneuver and get around. It's not too big, you know, so it's good. The perfect pizza place. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks, Jack. Make sure to tune in next week for more in-depth meteorological analysis. But for now, that concludes this week's <laughs> news report. Once again, I'm Kamari Masakat. And I'm Alona Siegel. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the weekend.